training in research is very much an apprenticeship. The important things that you need to learn to do science well are not things that you can look up in the back of a book. From his lab at Duke University, Robert Lepkowitz trained hundreds of students to pioneer and advance the study of receptor biology. And so you have to make yourself accessible to your students and fellows and just sort of share your scientific life with them. My work has to do with trying to understand a particular type of molecule in cells, which are referred to as receptors. So receptors are the molecules on cells that permit drugs and hormones to work. The best way to picture it is the classical analogy of a lock and a key. So the lock would be the receptor on the cell, and the key would be a drug or a hormone. Lefkowitz first identified the gene for an adrenaline receptor, the hormone responsible for the fight-or-flight scenario. I had a strong family with heart disease, both on my mother's side and my father's side. And so whatever receptor I chose, I wanted to choose one that had obvious relevance to cardiovascular medicine. He would subsequently discover seven other adrenergic receptors. Being a Howard Hughes investigator uh, gives one a flexibility and a freedom pr to pursue new ideas. Lefkowitz revealed the elegant structure of a huge family of G-protein coupled receptors which function as molecular switches. Innovative drug therapies can now target these receptors to address a host of diseases. I began my career uh, never dreaming that I would have uh, a career in biomedical research, and then realizing that I could answer questions in the laboratory that would ultimately uh, impact on the practice of medicine just was too seductive to, to resist.